An alleged dogfighting ring busted in Muskegon Heights late last week, and today our own Julie Dunmire sitting down with the rescue organization Pound Buddies, which also serves as Muskegon County's animal control to learn more about the animal's future. Muskegon Heights police chief tells me that this all started when a totally separate investigation led detectives to some disturbing videos. Pound Buddies, meanwhile, does not technically have these dogs in their full possession. They were just seized last week, but Pound Buddies says if all things go well, they hope that these animals are one day adoptable. You turn that switch and go, we got a job to do. Lena Carson, executive director for Pound Buddies in Muskegon, says her staff has their hands full, caring for 22 dogs seized in an alleged dog fighting ring on Friday. One dog was found dead. In the 20 years that I've been involved um, with rescue work, this is actually the first time um, that I've experienced this. Muskegon Heights police are leading the investigation and say that videos found by detectives ultimately led to the arrest of four people. Carson called in the experts working with the organization Bark Nation, who specializes in the types of needs of dogs who may have been abused. Honestly, it has been very similar to dealing with any of the other dogs that we would have at the shelter. Um, these dogs are not human aggressive. The dogs in various conditions when they arrived at Pound Buddies. The dogs were in various conditions, various states of um, healing wounds, um, various ages. We had puppies as young as 10 weeks, um, old up to adult dogs. Carson says she knows this brings out the community's emotions. It does the same for her as well. There's such a range of emotions. Um, you get sickened and angry and like, how can this actually be happening in, in our alleged happening, you know, in our community? This is what we're here for you know, is to help the lives of these animals, to help our community, you know, be safe. And then, um, so I guess, I think this is a blessing that we're here to be able to offer the assistance that's needed in this time. Muskegon Heights Police also thanking the numerous other organizations that helped in this investigation, thanking the Norton Shores Police Department, the Muskegon County Sheriff, as well as Michigan State Police. In addition to those 22 dogs found, one dog was found dead. Uh, Muskegon Heights Police also saying that they expect additional arrests to be made in addition to those four arrests that were initially made as the investigation continues. For now, reporting in Muskegon Heights, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.